Here's a quick test of Pika X with 11 or 3 10,000 kV motors. Pika BLX 4 in 1 6 amp ESC with uh, 1S Nanotech 750 70C discharge rate battery. Let's see how it will fly. I'm very much interested to see it. happened This is how it approximately sounds. So as you can see it's really really quiet. Probably not a bad setup for indoor. I guess similar to regular kind of brushed quadcopters. It's not super powerful I'd say. I have to keep throttle up all the time so it's not for uber racing experience It's the same battery, I just crushed it. Again crushed it. <laughs> okay. It seems like it became pretty weak now. Yeah, you see it doesn't really lift as much. Uh, hard. But I bet this battery is still well above 
3.2, 3.3, these kind of numbers. I think last time I actually checked it, batteries were something like 3.7 when it was already relatively weak, or not relatively, I'd say quite weak. Oh, you see. No. Need to try a new pack. So now it's Pika X with new pack of battery. Oh, you see, yeah, there is a huge difference with full battery and like, oh, okay, so it actually has some throttle. Not bad. Not a rocket, but I mean, it's 1S. It's really small, hard to see it. I'm not sure how it will be on the video. Let's see. Okay, I have to restart it. Okay, what I like to do is to fly around myself. <laughs> I hope I won't vomit after that. Stabilize a little bit. Okay, good to go. Okay, battery already probably discharged enough. Let's see, will it fly again? No. I have to restart it again. Okay. Will it fly or will it not? Okay, still does, but yeah, definitely no punch already. Okay, okay. Fly, baby, fly. Whoa. <laughs> 
this is another Pika X with 11 or 2 motors. I guess I will try to fly it now for the change.